There are a number of uh, important comorbidities that go along with narcolepsy that are of uh, critical importance for primary care clinicians uh, to recognize. The first and foremost is depression. Depression often manifests as a uh, result of the patient's inability to be active, to participate in activities, and uh, it often results in uh, um, difficulties with uh, really um, not being able to um, uh, also engage in a, um, in a life experience that most of us uh, enjoy. Um, the medications that we often uh, use for, for narcolepsy are stimulants or wake-promoting agents. And some of the medications uh, do affect and, and improve the patient's uh, depression. So that's a, a key issue because we often, if we treat and we diagnose the patient early, we can uh, help uh, improve the underlying comorbid conditions. Besides depression, the second most important um, uh, issue that we often see is something that a lot of people may not recognize, which is uh, obesity. And the obesity uh, is often related to the fact that this uh, individual uh, cannot maintain alertness during the day and they cannot participate in sports activities. But there may be two other, uh, at least two other potential reasons for that. One is it may have to do with the underlying pathophysiology of narcolepsy type 1 uh, related to orexin hypocretin deficiency, which may have a role, a metabolic role, um, and those individuals who are hypocretin deficient may gain weight as a result, direct result of the hypocretin deficiency. The, sec the, the third reason may actually be related to the fact that these uh, individuals are treated with antidepressants, which as a side effect have obesity as an important side effect. Besides uh, depression, obesity, they may have uh, difficulties with a uh, schizoaffective uh, disorder. Uh, and, and that's where it becomes uh, clinically very difficult to differentiate because a lot of the symptoms of uh, schizophrenia, i.e. hallucinations, uh, auditory, hypnagogic hallucinations, are also shared with uh, narcolepsy. Both forms of narcolepsy type 1 and 2 have a REM intrusion phenomenon, which are manifestations of dream experiences, experiences or dream-like experiences, which uh, to the patient appear to be related to hallucinations, which uh, uh, to someone who is not really aware of the clinical manifestations of narcolepsy, those patients may be um, labeled as a, having schizophrenia. But many patients with narcolepsy also have underlying schizophrenia. So differentiating between hallucinations related to narcolepsy and those related to the underlying primary psychiatric condition are often very challenging. 